Hey everyone, this is Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am just coming on to really share um, some sweet friend mail, a few online purchases that have come in. I was hoping to um, post this video a little bit earlier in the week, but it's just been a lot going on. I haven't even had time to do, you know, some of my simple crafts like I like to do here and there. I am participating though in Heather's Halloween collaboration. That has been keeping me busy. I still do have a couple of projects that have stalled, but they are not off. <laughs> um, one is my Halloween altered book. I totally need to get back into decorating my pages. You know, we've counted everything. I've got everything ready to go. And then I've just kind of stopped. Ninju, I know for sure you are waiting on that. So I'm hoping to uh, get that kickstarted back up real soon. I was trying to finish off a paper pad. I've actually been already used some of the cards um, from that paper pad um, oh I know I'm forgetting something um, well anyways whenever those things start back up you will be sure to see them I actually have gotten out some of my happy mail to some friends that I have really needed to take care of um, I still do have um, a few other things that I still need to send out so that is not done and then some other other things that are on my list um, to take care of as well for some sweet friends so all right so enough of the chit chat first of all um, I do not make a big deal of my birthday um, just for various reasons and um, however uh, Ninju and does crafts here on YouTube I will of course leave her channel uh, linked in the description box below but you know she remembered my birthday and Ninju you just touch me to no end sweet lady um, she is just um, a very sweet young lady so crafty and um, we just enjoy uh, each other's company through YouTube you know and um, so definitely check out her channel linked in the description box below and then she sends me sweet goodies which you know she's been listening and paying attention because she does know at some point I would like to make um, a ballerina themed journal and I have some ballerina um, goodies that I need to send out to a few crafty friends as well okay and there is also Alice in Wonderland in here so hmm, let me move some of these things aside so we can get a better look so I've got some oh my goodness okay look at these they're like little page flag with cute little critters cats they are cute cats. Oh my goodness. This one here totally reminds me of brother. He's orange, but so cute. Thank you, Ninju. And then of course the little ballerina pieces that I'm not doing very well that are sticking together. Look how lovely that is. And of course, loving the tutu. And then, oh, and there's some other little dance pieces. Oh, this is awesome. It's like a, like a postage stamp, a little ticket. And then, there are some great Alice in Wonderland pieces here. Oh, there's another little ballerina piece. <laughs> Helena Bonham Carter, that is too much. Oh my word, that is too much. That is totally cracking me up. Another little baller ballerina piece like pearls. I love these little Alice in Wonderland pieces though. They're like little stickers. Oh my goodness, so awesome. I don't even know why I um, I'm just so drawn to the Alice in Wonderland. I'm not necessarily drawn to the story or the movies or anything, but the images and the original illustrations, and I think the books are beautiful and the images, and I don't know, it is a little bit whimsical. And then of course, um, Ninju's card, she um, wished me a blessed year. Anything I can't use, pass on. I am definitely gonna hang on to these. And Ninju, thank you, my crafty friend. Look at it. Happy birthday, crafty buddy. Oh my goodness, thank you. You touch, you touch my heart. All right, I'm going to set these right over here. I'm gonna find a little container to put them in. And then um, I just checked my mail. I think this came in yesterday. I didn't get a chance to come over. First of all, look at this darling little sunflower sticker. So this is from Michelle um, E on YouTube. I don't know that Michelle does videos. Michelle, let me know if you have social media. Um, be sure to put it in your comment that I can share if you're on Instagram. Um, but she um, sent me a sweet thank you. And first of all, look at this card she made. This is gorgeous. And um, she just thanked me 
Um, she got winnings from, oh, week four, Christmas in July. And uh, thank you. I appreciate you um, supporting my channel. And I definitely, um, she sent some goodies here. She says, I hope you enjoy. And I'm sure I will because I was trying to get into the package and I ac accidentally ripped it. And then I saw, I've seen this and I have not opened it all the way. And oh my goodness, she has some lovely things. Michelle, you are crafty in your own right. That is for sure. Okay, I'm pulling this out. Number one, I love that washi tape over here. Oh my goodness, Michelle, you did not have to do this, but this was just, oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> that is, I, I almost didn't even notice that because it was just blending right in with the tissue paper. Okay, we all know I like some lace. This looks like she has trimmed this out, possibly even vintage, whatever it is. I love it, and the hearts, you know, almost makes me think of some Alice in Wonderland as well. Oh, this is lovely. Valentine's coming up. Anything. I put hearts on everything. I love hearts. Oh my goodness, Michelle, that is lovely. And then look at these pieces here with the, um, the layered ruffle. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Thank you. And then, okay, look at these gorgeous rosettes. Michelle, these are beautiful, and I'm assuming you made these yourself. They are packaged wonderfully. Look at the beautiful colors. And I love the little detail. Oh my goodness, okay. We can just sit here and look at these things for a while. <gasps> look at these with the clips. <gasps> oh, these are awesome. I'm gonna flip this one around. So, so sweet. Oh my goodness, I'm going to open this one up because those I can see through the plastic. Oh my goodness, okay, these are some tag pieces. Look how gorgeous. These may be cutouts that she has actually stamped on as well. And they are just lovely. And then there are also tag pockets. Do these fit in the tag pockets? Well, pfft, of course they do. Oh my goodness, Michelle, these are awesome. And these, of course, have the pocket in them where they just kind of fold over. Ooh, I love some green. That just kind of, green just catches my eye. Green and light pink, <laughs> case in point. Lots of other colors too, but oh my goodness. Oh, Michelle, wow. And then last but not least, I feel like I'm making a giant mess here. I'm very disorganized, and that's because there are stuff stacked all around me from the uh, uh, <laughs> from all the Halloween crafting going on. And look at all of these fibers, and these are just amazing. Ooh, this here is really intriguing to me. I love all of them, but I think I have a special affinity for some eyelash trim, and that's like the most delicate kind of eyelash trim I've ever seen. All of these are amazing. Michelle, oh my goodness, thank you from the bottom of my heart. What a wonderful thank you, which she did not even have to do. So, oh, you touch my heart. Michelle, let me know if you do have any um, um, crafty um, um, social media. So for sure, thank you again. Oh my goodness. And then, if that wasn't enough, so I had some sweetness from Ninju, from Michelle, and then, oh, I missed these. Oh my goodness, told you my desk was a mess. Look at these sweet little mushrooms. Those are stinking cute as well. Um, I actually have the Tim Holtz toadstool um, stamps. I can even see combining these with those and great for fall. Oh my goodness. And her packaging too. Delightful. I am not one. I don't love packaging. <laughs> so many crafters, they love their packaging. Michelle, what a beautiful job. Me, it's, it's not my favorite thing. So I buy cute bags and I put stuff in cute bags and I put washi tape on them. If I remember, I might put, uh, punch out a heart. But um, I'm just, I'm doing good if I actually get it in the mail and off to somebody. So um, case in point here. So um, I picked up this envelope and I was a little confused because I had my daughter's 
name on it. And I thought it was to her, and then I had forgotten. She lives about an hour away, and um, she had picked me up some um, greeting cards because I do like to craft with greeting cards. I love, I think this one might be my favorite. And then um, this one here is awfully cute too with the witch, or I'm sorry, not the witch, the cat, and uh, the bats. So um, Leah had forgotten to bring these when she came up this last weekend. She goes, Mom, I mailed you some cards. So I was a little bit confused for a minute. So even my daughter sent some some um, happy mail. So thank you, Leah. Um, and let's see here. I think I'm going to show you um, a few online purchases then. Um, this here is so very cool. So I purchased this. Where is my receipt? From Selena at Amore Fabrics. I've been familiar with her Etsy shop. I don't do, I guess because I do craft and I thrift a lot and you know I'm always picking up something from somewhere um you know, as we know Dawn likes to shop um so I don't order things too many times from Etsy shops but when I see things that just pique my interest of course I'm gonna go look into it so my friend Laura from the Jersey Crafter hi Laura which I'm totally tagging you had a conversation um because I told her I said I will not even have known about this if um she had not shown me these, and these were in, so, Selena's shop on Etsy at Amore Fabrics, and so it's a bingo card, and I got the retro version. I don't know if there's any more of these out there, but she did have um, other cool things in her shop, fabrics and things like that. So, oh my goodness, she's got a thread and a needle in there, but she was showing um, to just sew these buttons onto this card and then I was like well I'm gonna stab myself I think I might glue them you'd have to cut off the little shanks or whatnot but I picked up the retro one she had some in like different um, color themes as well and I was like what a darling little concept she was, um, she had showed these just all stitched to the card I might do the um, uh, you know move around the colors to make it look a little nicer but I was like what a fun project and I think this bingo card is so awesome so I picked this up from her shop and uh, so I just thought that was a ton of fun and thank you Laura for showing me that um, Laura goes on um, does a lot of lives and it's so much fun um, with the crafty people over there and um, uh, she's just she's just a ton of fun a great crafter just dives right in and uh, it's just fun to to craft together awesome community so many great crafty friends I can't even I can't even so that was very cool um, thank you Selena and then um, this is an online purchase which I purchased right from my favorite things um, I was watching uh, crafty bean who is Tina here on YouTube she was sharing this stamp set not long ago and it's called Lil Pumpkin. You can see it right up here. And isn't she darling? One of the pure innocence um, little girls with the different sentiments. And of course I got um, the matching dye. And then um, I have been into some candy corn projects. Um, I actually have another stamp and die set I got from Lawn Fawn not too long ago, which I have not used yet. But I was wanting a larger candy cane. Candy cane. Oh, when I was showing a candy cane, I kept calling it candy corn. You know what I mean. This thing here, candy corn. I think I'm saying the right thing. Um, anyways, I got this um, die. Let's see what size is it. I, I just want to do it up in some purples for sure. And I've got to make a memory decks card for Halloween uh, or uh, for my Halloween collab. So it's about not quite three inches by... Hmm, not quite two at its widest point. So um, I might be using that, I'm not quite sure. I'm feeling like a candy corn memory decks. I'm not sure. And then I found out my stamp, uh, swap partner is Paige from Stamp Girl. So hello Paige if you're watching. And um, so anyways, I wanted to pick up that candy corn die. So I'm excited to try that. And then this is a stamp set I picked up from Paper Sweeties. I actually saw Jill Norwood show this. She um, created I'll leave her video that I saw in the link below. Um, she had created some um, 
little coffee cups and she had stamped these sentiments on the front of them and they looked amazing and I remember seeing that and I thought that was was great and then I saw Ebony at sharing more recently show that she had picked these up and I was like you know what I really like those so I went over to Paper Sweeties and I found them and I picked them up so I'm excited to have this and then I think last but not least so I just told you Paige is my um swap partner for our um Halloween collaboration so I just found and we just found that out but um, this last week she was showing a memory decks card that she did with the sweet witch from imaginations and I went on eBay and I promptly found the witch because I loved her so much I do like imagination stamps very much that is the brand of this and I have some of their stamps and they just have a kind of a sweet a sweet sweet I can't talk country ish vibe a little old-fashioned a little homespun type of quality qualities a lot of them have this kind of hair um, there's some sweet snowmen as well but um, anyways I found this on eBay and I purchased it and it's actually a lot smaller size because some of their other stamps I have are like four or five inches tall they're a good size so when I went and looked and I was like well, I got this little one so um, I thought the little one was actually kind of sweet so anyways I picked that up as well being inspired by um, Paige's memory decks which I'm gonna leave um, that video in the description box below so oh my goodness I think that is all I have to share right now. I'm just missing some crafty time. There's been just really a whole lot going on. Next week is going to be very busy as well. I know I'm going to be um, out of town for a few days as well, um, but that's okay. So thanks so much for stopping by and watching. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and until next time.